It's happened before on my show that I make a prediction that goes completely sour and I end up having to go on and say, you know what? I just was completely wrong. I said the wrong thing. I have said things which just have been factually incorrect and I've had to go on and apologize. And when I turned on the Anthony Weiner penis tweet press conference yesterday and heard him explain that what he wanted to do was actually send the penis tweet as a direct message to a girl and accidentally posted it publicly. It's actually the YouTube audience that owes me the apology because this is exactly what I said last week. I said, you know what I think happened here because of the way he's saying I can't say it's not a picture of me, but I did not intentionally send that tweet out. It was obvious to me. The guy was trying to send a direct message. He messed up and he sent it out publicly and people went crazy on me. They said, how could I possibly think that it's even really a picture of him? How could I possibly think that this is not just a setup of Anthony Weiner? And I like Anthony Weiner. I love when he goes on Fox News and just ridicules Megyn Kelly. I love it. I really do. This is not about me not liking Anthony Weiner. It was obvious that this guy was sending out these pictures. It was obvious that this was an accident. And it was most obvious that this guy knew that they were pictures of his own crotch. And I said it just last week. And honestly, this is the last person that should be sending out penis tweets. If your last name is Wiener, don't send out penis tweets. If you're married to a top Hillary Clinton advisor, don't send out penis tweets. If you're a member of Congress, don't send out penis tweets. Anthony Weiner is, is literally the last person that should be penis tweeting at this point. That's number one. Now, number two, this is a hilarious situation in a number of ways. First of all, we talked last week on the David Pakman show about how inadvertently Anthony Weiner, I don't know if it was a Freudian thing. I don't know if it was slipping into his subconscious, but he was throwing in tons of sexual innuendo into every interview he did. He did one with Luke Russert on MSNBC, where in, in denying all of the allegations, he talked about insertion. He talked about manipulation. He said he had had uh, contact with a firm. Uh, I mean, the guy was he, he just couldn't help himself. So all all signs here, hilarious, pointing to the fact that this guy may be some kind of uh, well, basically like every other politician that ends up coming out with something like this, Republican and Democratic. And then lastly, the other hilarious thing on this is the questions that were asked. Benji Bronk from The Howard Stern Show infiltrated the press conference where Anthony Weiner revealed all of this stuff and took questions. And some of the questions Benji Bronk asked are, are absolutely the height of parody. I mean, do you have the support of Arnold Schwarzenegger's love child? Are you shocked Arnold had sex with such an ugly woman? And then as Anthony Weiner is, is leaving, probably the funniest question of them all, uh, were you fully erect <laughs> in your penis tweet? And uh, is that uh, or are you or are you capable of more? So really, I'm actually sad. I believe that Anthony Weiner may end up resigning. I'm not saying he should. I'm just saying he may end up resigning because let's be honest, he was directly lying to the media. He was calling the CNN producer a jackass because the guy was actually pretty accurate in his follow up questioning. He knew exactly what Anthony Weiner was was trying to not say. Uh, I, I actually do think Anthony Weiner may end up resigning. Uh, again, I've always been an advocate of keeping these incidents, these sexual incidents separate from politics unless they break the law. But I think that Republicans are going to be pretty good about mounting pressure on Anthony Weiner to resign. I hope he doesn't. I, I think I think he may.